electric power steering. This is a Vauxhall, modern Vauxhall unit, fitted to lots of different modules that is a very popular with the aftermarket. GM motors, but it's actually Mitsubishi electric in here, so it's probably built in Japan. The only connections are 30 amp power supply, positive and negative, plus there's three wires here. Engine speed, vehicle speed and ignition power. So for the aftermarket you can buy a little adapter for about £25 which basically tricks the ECU into giving it a vehicle and engine speed and you can adjust it with a potentiometer that you can put on the dashboard. Saves the complication of adding engine speed sensors or vehicle speed sensors to the vehicle and you can manually adjust the feel. So with the ignition off, if I try turning this shaft, really difficult to put mole grips on. Right, we turn it reasonably easily. I've got a five kilogram mass attached to the end there, so I can't lift it all the way up in the centre if I hold the end of the mole grip. So just about lift that mass. Turn the electric power steering on. You can hear the unit click to engage. Now I can do it with two fingers in the centre there. In fact, I can probably take the mole grips off and lift that five kilogram mass without any steering wheel on, without much problem. I turn it down, it gets more difficult. I have to put my old grip back on. There we are. I can lift that mass. If I turn it off again. Whoop! Can't lift it. So that's electric power steering. The whole unit is quite compact. You can take that joint off there. That's the tilting steering column. So you can undo this joint here. Here's a Mark II Jag steering column for comparison. So you can see this unit is that length will fit easily in there. have to take this joint off here, weld it on the shaft, take that joint off there, weld it on this shaft, uh, and then you can fit the unit in the middle under the dashboard, no problem.